It really is incredible how fucking stupid some feminists can be. The ones that stand out the most to me are the ones that insist on arguing for some moronic precedent that if they themselves were subject to, would cause an unholy ear-splitting shriek of injustice. There was a great example of one of these air-headed femtards at work recently highlighted by Charming Man 93. Fuck off. Let's have a look at it. Alright, I'm annoyed that I even have to make this video. So there's this video going around the internet of a girl, the orange coat girl, ripping down some posters of Feminism is Cancer. Yeah, that insufferable bitch that went around tearing down posters for Milo's upcoming Feminism is Cancer talk at UCLA. I did a video about her last week that I've linked in the description, but here's a refresher for those who didn't see it. Why are you throwing away my posters? Why did you rip them off of the wall and reach beyond my face? while I was standing in front of them. This is why. Because you're a feminist and therefore cancerous to society. Yeah, how did you know? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's because of your intolerant behavior that's incredibly disrespectful and just caused you to nearly physically assault me. Don't you love how she says, this is why? As if that's some legitimate excuse to be denying somebody their right to freedom of expression. Firstly, right. Does anyone else feel like they're being talked down to by a self-righteous cunt? Firstly, right. Is cancer really something you want to compare it to? Well, obviously it is, because that is in fact what they did. And they're well within their rights to do that. Seriously? Like, seriously. Because cancer can mess up lives. So can feminism. But that's not an argument as to why feminism should be banned, is it? it... Good point. It depends on whether you're talking about feminism or when people take it too far. What depends on whether you're talking about feminism or when people take it too far? Somebody's right to freedom of expression? No, it doesn't. Where the fuck did you hear that? But it's still not something you can turn around and say and compare it to something that ends lives. Now, I don't think you're getting this. Comparing feminism to cancer is something that this girl and the people behind this event have the right to do. Preventing this girl and the people behind this event from comparing feminism to cancer is something that this bitch-faced feminist does not have the right to do. Feminism. I think we're about to get a dictionary definition. Groundbreaking stuff. To have same run rights as men. What? To have same run rights as men. For equality for both sexes. Fucking hell. They usually have the brain capacity to at least get the dictionary definition right. Why, why, why? Why, 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 what? Why are people taking it to the point where they think it's just something horrible in this world when it's not? Um, because it is. Here's another feminist from the same university expressing her disapproval of the event just before it took place. <laughs> But just so I completely understand what you're saying... And I say something like, you know, it would be nice if universities were places of learning with free and open um, uh, access to knowledge and people exposed to different points of view. I personally think we should just get rid of the term feminism and just go for equality and think of a name that we can just be like, yes, I'm for equality, I'm not for men being better than women, I'm not for women being better than men, I'm just want us to be equal. Yeah, it's a thing. Uh-huh. Seriously. People going around putting posters up saying that feminism is cancer or whatever you want to call it. Cancer. That's what we want to call it. Will not get us there. Where? There. 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 Here. There. Oh. And you're basically just being sexist and disgusting. You know, sometimes I wish it made grammatical sense to say, fuck the fuck off. One day. And it's not what you want. If one day you find yourself knowing what you want, just remember, unless a feminist has approved it, it's not what you want. Okay. Okay. You recorded it 
of of the person you're considering is like cancer not lashing out on you just being completely calm picking up your posters going to put them in the bin because they're not going to litter because good feminists consider the environment when robbing you of your constitutional rights and just you know put them in the bin just be nice you know be nice to society put them in the bin <laughs> and not having people see that which you know hmm could offend many people hmm you know what no one gives a fuck if you or any of your cunt-faced feminist mates are offended. So, fuck the fuck off. If you have your opinion, you have your opinion. If you want to voice your opinion, you can voice your opinion. Yes, you're all for that. It's a free world. Um, unless you don't agree with it? Think about what you're saying, love. Well, it's a free world in a way, so you can voice what you want to say. But is there any need? If we can say what we want to say, then we can say what we want to say. There doesn't have to be a need. Fuck. For what you did? No, I don't even know who you are. And if I'm going to get loads of hate for this, I'm going to get loads of hate for this. I fucking hate it when people think disagreement is hate. Well, I'm just going to say this. What you did was wrong. Nope. What the feminist did was wrong. By every measure, except for your stupid fucking opinion. What the feminist did was right. You are retarded. And never compare something to cancer. Feminism is cancer, and you are cancer. You're both fucking cancer. Okay, bye now. Go fuck yourself. Well, she was fucked, wasn't she? Once again, thanks to Charming Man 93 fuck off. for bringing this idiot to my attention. And thank you for watching. See ya. You know, watching my channel grow as quickly as it has, has been fucking incredible. It's nice to know that there's so many people out there who enjoy watching my videos as much as I enjoy making them. Like anyone else, I've got cubs to feed and bills to pay, so I really appreciate all the support that I get. It allows me to create and publish better videos at a faster rate. If you'd like to throw something in the hat as well, you can either support my videos on a continuing basis through Patreon, or by making a one-time donation via PayPal. You'll find links in the description. If you can't or don't want to, that's okay too. You can help my channel grow by liking and sharing this video. Thanks for watching.